why and when causal modeling is helpful beyond just having an understanding of the correlation between um, two variables. Yeah, it's a causal causal inference is a really important lens for for every company because ultimately we care about what will happen if we we change something. I mean, if you don't change things, then the business will continue to function as it did before you analyze the data. And so there's sort of like there's the like completely passive view of data science as an activity where you're you're a glorified accountant and all you're doing is count, <laughs> counting the events and telling people what happens. But really, I think we 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 believe that we're having an impact on the business. And so the shortest path to having business impact on the business is to think about how do we estimate what would happen if we were to make certain changes and then choose the one that uh, that the estimate looks the best for. You know, we want to live in the world that if we made the, the best causal inference, a rank of all the causal inferences possible, and we found the one with the best one for the company, we, we choose that course of action. So it's really simple conceptually, but but not until you put it into these causal terms of like, you know, planning to make a change of some kind. So the simplest version of that is an A-B test where, you know, you have two different ideas about what to do in some situation on your app or service. Um, and you want to just understand what, what would play out differently if you chose one or the other. But in, in practice, the configuration space is the way I like to think about it. How many choices that you make that determine the user experience or how, how your service runs is actually quite large. It's not just A versus B. It's actually like a large number of numbers that need to be decided on dynamically in real time all the time. And uh, and that to me is causal modeling is sort of like we're going to change all these things about. So Lyft has lots of different policies besides um, pricing and dispatch. There's uh, coupons, there's driver incentives, uh, there's uh, support tickets, how we handle those, um, you know, dealing with offboarding drivers that are dangerous. Uh which creates supply problems, but makes makes Lyft safer. And all those things are causal questions. Like if we did something differently, what would happen to our service? Um, and the modeling becomes very important because you're introducing changes on a number of different dimensions at the same time. It's not just like everything gets better or worse. There's actually like three or four things that you're trading off. You know, at, at Lyft, there were things like rider, rider happiness and retention versus like, you know, driver earnings and, and driver retention. You know, and you know, safety and reliability are, are other aspects. And so, like, you, you need to understand how when you change things, it changes multiple aspects of your business at the same time. Um, and so, that's what causal modeling is really all about. It's just understanding the consequences of your actions and making appropriate trade offs. Awesome. That was a really great answer. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Not a lot about it. <laughs> do you think that uh, all data scientists should be aware of causal methods? You think that there's value for basically all of us? I, I really do believe that. I mean, I know that that's an, it's easy for me to say, being the kind of causal inference guy who's always talking about it. <laughs> but, I, but I do think that um, often what we're doing implicitly is, is causal. I saw in, you know, your Jennifer Hill interview. Is, I think she said something similar that like we're, we're, make, we're implicitly making causal conclusions. So why don't right. we just make them ex explicit <laughs> and try to actually right. estimate the causal effect that we care about? Um, and even if we can't get it perfect, at least we're at least we're putting things in the terms that we, we need them to be in later. So um, it, it will benefit almost anybody that works in data science to start thinking about how do I frame this problem that I'm working on as a as a causal question. Um, and if it doesn't change the answer, then you are already doing causal inference correctly. If it does change change the answer, then you weren't doing it correctly, and you were probably making a mistake. And so. <laughs> So um, it's it's probably going to benefit you either way, either in terms of building confidence and formalizing what you're already doing, or or if it changes the answer, then sh then surely you're you're going to do better um, by using a causal a causal inference technique. 